Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. Um, just done a couple things in between episodes. Um, just been uh, harvesting up some charcoal and all sorts, and I needed some better food. Um, so I was been kind of crafting that up as well, going through some of the uh, questing lines in the um, in the food chapter, I got all the different things to craft food and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm making a little bit of headway. Uh, there is an idea, I did sort of think of this. Uh, there's lots of different jelly sandwiches. And they give four hearts and four saturation, so they're pretty good. And they're actually quite easy to make. Um, just some bread, which is easy. Jelly, which is sugar and... Um, a fruit and then some like butter which is just basically I can just take peanuts this is almond I can do peanut butter which is just extract peanut and then you get the almond the so that is actually if I could do six of these or whatever then I could easily rotate um, but I kind of like going for the top tier foods here so that's kind of what I'm working towards. I just like having those. Um, uh, in the meantime, I've also set up a little bit of automation here. Um, it's not really like automated, but there is a conveyor belt. And I'm just dumping my charcoal in there, and it's compressing it down. So I have seven blocks of compressed, and then a block of charcoal. And then, so if we look at the burn time, very, very high burn time. And one of these block of compressed charcoal lasts for 1,440 seconds. And I'm actually doing really well on steam here. So I actually changed this up to a 15. So I'm curious how long that's going to last. Um, but with the solar boilers that I have, putting out steam and this thing, with the using the creosote that I have going on in here that I can really uh, stretch out my my charcoal here so there we go so 2800 in 80 seconds for one thing and now I don't know if that's gonna be enough yeah it's kinda like right on the border actually so yeah so one I think it's one of these. No, it's one of those compressed charcoal, and it lasts 2,800 seconds. I can only imagine this is like 10 times as longer. Um, yeah. Now I also kind of expanded this a bit. My uh, that charcoal pit, um, so I can get some better charcoal. Uh, production. So I'm just going to let that uh, craft up. Now, the unfortunately, I'm going through this diamond, uh, the diamond builder's wand, pretty quickly, as we can see, and it's kind of a pain to make. Um, but I'm going to have to do something about that. Now, I did read... I need another hammer. That's kind of where I was. I need a soft mallet. And if we look at the soft mallets, you can do rubber, polyethylene, which is the same as rubber. Wood, but wood's not very good. There's polystyrene, which I can't make yet. The steel leaf, which is really good, um, but I don't have steel leaf yet. It's from the Twilight Forest. Polyvinyl, which I don't have. Silicon rubber, which is pretty good actually, once I get that. Um, but if we look at this this one, 307,000, which is the second best, this is ironwood ingots. And there is actually a quest for to make that. I think it's in here. Maybe? Yeah, right here. So ironwood. Ironwood is much harder durable than rubber, ideal for a soft mount. So I need the living roots, which I've gotten somewhere. There we go. Just from mining in the Twilight Forest. 
So it looks like I need to pulverize this down, get some iron, and mix it like these three, and then I get ironwood dust, and then I can smelt it up, it looks like. So let's just... Yep, just pulverize that. I have no idea how long this is going to take. Oh, that's actually pretty quick. Alright, that's awesome. I am pulverizing some sugar for this quest. It needs four stacks of sugar. I don't know if there's something after it, and that's why it's a... Uh, is it nine I needed? Yeah, nine. I don't want the... I don't remember how many I put in. <laughs> I need nine. Got three. Alright, I think that's enough. I wanted to get it before I pulled the, the sugar in. Alright, nine. And a tiny pile of gold dust. I guess we'll have to... I can use these, actually. Although, that just started. <laughs> Alright, so we'll get that. The ironwood. I just... Looks like... Yeah, it looks like that is the same whether you do it in a shaped in the crafting table or the mixer. It doesn't look like it's any different. So, what was it? Moving room? Yeah, so that just gives you two. There's the 18, and then... Can I just smelt this? Yes. Perfect. And then I can use the 6 for that. Now, I... Do I have any... I think I'm going to... Get myself a... Snowman here. Can I put these together? Yeah, I didn't think so. Right, there's those bricks. I have a pumpkin somewhere. Alright, if I can't use them before I finish that quest, which is a bit of a pain. So let's go ahead and let's go make a snowman somewhere. Where would be a good place for a snowman? I don't want him to get it killed, because that would be annoying. Maybe like down underneath somewhere. Because I'm not going to have to use them very often, but it will give me uh, Oh, okay, so that was, it compressed the snow down back to ice. Alright, that's good to know. I think I had some extra. That's the one problem with the, the setup. It pulls it back in and out. Like, it'll pull it in and if it can go back in to compress it farther. Um, that's what will happen. Yeah, snow compresses down into ice. So, good to know. Apparently there is a quest for this. I have no idea where it is. Is it one of these early quests? Oh, here it is. Is there... Oh. I guess no. I don't know what I'm going to use that for now. 
Well, I'll break it down and I'll end up using it. Uh, but let's go make a snow golem. Um, I guess I could just make it. Should I just make it right here? We'll see if he if he dies. I mean, I can always make some more. Another one. That doesn't connect. That's annoying. I don't like how that looks. Do I need... I guess I don't. Well, that doesn't. <laughs> That's not an idea. I guess I should use the other ones. Um, yeah, apparently these fences don't connect to the wall. Nobody. I don't think I have an X on me. Should have picked one up. Oh well. Actually, I could probably just leave it like that. That lets me get in there, and I don't think he can get out. Anyway. And I think this is... I don't... Yeah. Ooh. So, does he not produce snow? Has that been, like, disabled? Interesting. I thought that way. Wouldn't he, like, don't they usually produce snow? Does that... Maybe because... Get out of my way. Let me re replace you <laughs> with... Uh, Dirt right here. Alright, let's go back in the corner. Where are you going, buddy? Here. Yeah, he's not producing snow. Okay, so that is a thing that I'm going to have to deal with. I thought I could use that as like a a source for snow, but uh, interesting. So there is my ironwood, and then let's just double check there isn't anything else. I'll claim that. Ironwood is much harder, making tools and armor give very unique features. With a pick, you can mine at cobalt level. Oh, interesting. And steel leaf. However, unique armor out of steel leaf would be even better use for this material. All right, so maybe we will do that at some point. But let's go ahead and make this mallet. I just spent a whole lot of time making a soft mallet here. And holy cow, are my Bag school. Anyway, that is <laughs> what I needed that for. Let me pull some of that out. And then we can do deluxe cheeseburger, fries, and strawberry, strawberry smoothie, and we get a delighted meal. So, pretty awesome. Uh, food. Alright, so now I have crafted a beef wellington and a delighted meal. So two high-end foods that we have crafted so far. And then I have some more in here. Um, Alright, but anyway, uh, today I also would like to get into the um, circuits. The better circuits, so I can look towards getting this craft or this scanner. I want to see if I can get this crafted. Uh, oop, not that. That. Yeah. So these advanced circuits, as we can see, I'm going to need the integrated logic circuits, the random access memory chips, and I think I have those from last episode. Yep. 
Now, the quest line, yeah, up here. So we got these. Done with those. I guess we'll take diamond because I have a ruby. I needed it. And then this quest. There are two variants of basic circuits. The basic circuit from ISO2 or the integrated circuit, which means a circuit assembly machine to be made. The good integrated circuit needs two circuits to be crafted. Now, if we look at the good circuits, I think we can do circuit. Yeah. There is this one, which I've been doing, which is just a good circuit board. And then that gets this. Uh, but the advanced one that I want to craft cannot be made with these, I don't think. So I have to go for this same tier, but they actually require some more stuff here. Um, I can make all this. Um, but I think... Well, this quest is asking me to get these resistors so and these diodes. Oof. But these aren't actually as bad as they used to be. So let me go ahead and craft up all these uh, components, and we will continue. Uh, so a couple things while I've been starting to craft up all the components. I ran out of lubricant, um, so I figured why don't I go ahead and get these large aluminum fluid cells because um, now I can smelt up aluminum pretty easy um, but I can use these to get uh, oil from my uh, the oil drilling thing over there so I'll just throw these some batteries in and these cells and that will get me uh, quite a lot of buckets of oil um, so that is one thing I have done I have also I put one of those compressed double compressed and if we look at the tooltip, uh, one double compressed lasts for 26,000 seconds, um, <laughs> which is a very long time. I think about seven hours. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Double compressed. Uh, yeah, this double compressed lasts for about seven hours. And the thing at the at 15. I switched it to 14, just uh, it was a little bit short. Um, this is four, This is 15, uh, but when I run my blast furnace, it drains really fast, so I switched it to 14, so we'll see. Um, but just basically charcoal compressed all the way down. And um, what I've noticed is the charcoal, when you compress it, you get like one extra of the one below it, if that makes sense. So, like... Charcoal burns at 1,600. If you compress it down into this, it gets 16,000, so 10 times as much, but it only uses 9 of the items. So every time you compress it down, uh, you get better. So a double compressed gets an extra regular compressed, if that makes sense. So the higher up you go, the more bonus you get from compressing it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out. And I don't know if I actually showed this, but I did build a little bit of a tower. Um, it's not exactly <laughs> as fancy as I want it to be. It's just basically a pillar, but this helps me uh, fly over the water and stuff. But anyway, we'll be back when I get all the components for the circuits. I think I have everything. So let's... Yep. And then we need the 16 logic circuits, which just goes in there, I'm assuming. Yeah. So let's go ahead and draw all this in. It's quite expensive. Is this? No. Yeah, this is just the, yeah, the basic, but it requires the diodes. Diodes are expensive. Um, but I realized the um, the wafer one, like at first I was like, why would you use wafers? Um, but you, you, you get for one small pile of gallium arsenide dust, you get 16 wafers. So um, it's much better to use the wafers instead of that. Um, I wish I could get the, the six one, but... 
Yeah, I'm not going to use the small, the pile of arsenide dust. All right, so and we got a bunch of oil here, so I guess I can go ahead and throw this down here. And this, oh, I have to put, that's right, I put the, um, Yeah, I put the redstone in there. We'll get me lubricant. Not gonna. Oh, I need it, so might as well. I only have two redstone on me. Let's change that. Yeah. All right. So there is those. Need 16 of those, and then I'm assuming it's going to continue on. Uh, what other quests have we got here? All oh, right, I can do this, actually. The, um, the stainless steel, there's two different quests for it, it looks like. Um, there's two ways to make stainless steel. One requires invar, and... Manganese and chrome, and the other one requires some more iron and nickel. So less, it needs invar, but it has more iron and nickel. Um, and then I think if we put this in a mixer, let me let's see if we can find it. Yeah, you get nine. If you mix it in a mixer, you get one extra stainless if you put it in a mixer. Um, but it looks like I have to do the MV. Yeah, I need an MV mixer for that. So I'm just going to actually wait to do that so I can complete both of these because they both require stainless steel at the end, but I get more if I put it in a mixer. So that's why I was waiting in front of that. I'm not sure why I need an advanced chemical reactor right now. Because um, I don't... I think this is like the polyethylene line. And I don't need an uh, advanced chemical reactor for that. Oh, I ran out of soldering ally. Luckily, that is super easy to make. And you get, what, 1400 or something? Did I have it set to... I thought I had it set to go into the... Forge Hammer. And then I can actually just throw this in here. This is such a cool machine, the simple washer. It also does purified. If you need purified, um, like this purified cooler, instead of having to use the ore washer, you can just throw it in there. You don't get the byproducts, but it, uh, it'll clean it for you. All right, perfect. And then I have actually, I have a ton of oil in there. And we will get into oil coming up here. So there is that quest. Let's see. Um, these are easy to make. Circuit boards are easy to make. I guess diode. And then good circuits have three variants. For the advanced circuits, we need the good integrated circuits. So we got our 16 of those. Need more good circuit boards, which, oh man, these require a lot of cold. 
Um, I need to get this quest going as well, or this recipe. Because this is, I need two gold bars per one circuit, and this is one. Or I need four, four gold bars to one circuit board right now, but this is one gold to one circuit. Um, all right, so this is a lot of stuff. So let me get this stuff crafted up, and we will be back. And there we go. So I think we just put these back in here, right? Yeah. And now we got the good integrated circuits. Now which one? Those are easy to make. Probably, I'd probably take that one, I guess. Yeah, that would probably be the best. I do have a couple loot bags in here. I wonder if you could... It looks like you can upgrade those. I'm just kind of upgrading them all until... my tier, but... Uh, there's some good stuff, like eight bowls, like... exciting. Uh, but four resistors isn't it's not terrible. And there we go. There is the good integrated circuits and then we can use these Ooh, schematics. A lot of stuff. A lot of these can be you can use the other easier to make ones though. I think the main thing is the um, the advanced circuits they have to be made with those I think yeah these so it looks like I'm probably gonna need to get more stuff <laughs> ready for this I'm just I don't know what the quest is gonna ask me I like following the quest now there are solar panels and I think just off while I remember it, I've looked before. I think they go all the way up to like UV. Yeah, there's a UV solar power panel. So that'd be kind of something fun to work towards. I mean, other like this is difficult, obviously, but dense silicon plates, those are easy. Uh, that we're going to need a reactor for, but a lot of this stuff isn't. All right. Maybe <laughs> enriched Nequadria neutronium scenarium alloy. Yeah, okay. So maybe that's a little more difficult than I was thinking it would be. But I don't know. Maybe we'll look into that. I think solar panels are more something when I can get some auto crafting going on. Uh, because, like, yikes. And there's no. Uh, like machine recipe, it has to be done in a crafting table, so yeah, I don't know about all that. Nice. What did I say I was going to take that one? Now, it didn't open up the next quest. I thought it was going to open up the quest for the advanced ones. Um, I may need another quest May oh, it just made me think. Do I need a better circuit assembler for that? No, I don't. All right, uh, I'm going to check out the quests and uh, maybe do this quest. Um, so this I need the topaz lens. So I'm going to go ahead and do that quest. So I finished the simple quest, and this opened up another one, the NAN chip, which is a replacement for vacuum tubes and some recipes. Um, I don't need that right this second. That is definitely something I'll probably look into. Um, but I think the advanced stuff is locked 
behind um, some other quests here. Well, obviously, it's locked behind the quests, but um, I need transistors. And to make these, I need molten polyethylene. So I think it is locked behind this. Um, more advanced recipes need an MV chemical reactor, um, like polyethylene. Although this is, doesn't need an advanced one. Um, but I think the quests that I need are actually locked behind these. So I am going to go ahead and craft a few machines in between episodes. So this extruder, I think the mixer, MV, the fluid solidifier, and uh, I'm going to have to do this one as, as well, the sensor, because that is part of one of these. I can't remember which one it is. Um, so I'm going to be doing that in between episodes. That's a lot of crafting and different parts and stuff. And next episode, we're going to knock out a bunch of these quests, like oxygen. I think I need to get a bunch of oxygen here, um, which is easy enough. It just needs to... I just need to let my thing run here. Um, it's just going to take some time. So unfortunately, I didn't get a whole lot accomplished uh, in this episode. Um, just kind of advancing through the different uh, chips and stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.